to Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show and the only show dedicated to the sportsman racer. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m &H Tires, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheFoat.com. With your hosts, Diana Might, Bruce Barker, Scott Lucky Hudson, Alex the Car Girl Rosio, Hot Rod Bob Beck, Bus, Dar Hawthorne, and Donnie Couch. Welcome to Speed Scene Live in 2015. We're back. We've been on break. We're rested. We're relaxed. We're ready to rock. My name is Lucky, and over here we've got Diana Mike. Diana Mike, welcome back. Well, Lucky, I'm glad to be back. We had a great holiday. Hope all of you guys had a nice holiday, too. And we're back here just for you. And we've got Hot Rod Bob back, and he's going to bring on, us everybody. gas all year long. You got it. I've been saving it up since Christmas. So I'll tell you. Uh -oh. <laughs> holiday gas. Wow. And Bruce Barker, you've got more hardware, more cameras, more stuff. Than ever before. <sighs> it's a good thing. It's a bad thing. You know, it's it's like adding four wheels onto your race car. It, <laughs> it might look blingy and cool, but boy, you got to learn how to drive all over again. Well, we got a bunch of cool stuff tonight, and later on, we're going to introduce Dar Hawthorne, and he's going to bring on a great mm. guest. Uh, what you're watching right now is a teaser from Match Race Madness. You just saw my car leave the line right there, racing Mo. Wilson, or well, actually ra racing his son Randy Wilson, and uh, Match Race Madness will return to Barona April 18th. I don't know, maybe I might have to go back down there for a rematch with the, the Wilson Racing Group. I don't know. Diana Mike, what do you think? Well, I think tonight we're going to be talking with Scott Gardner, and he's the president of IHRA. We're going to find out more about their race this weekend at Tucson mm. and all the other exciting things happening with IHRA. We're also going to talk to George Bryce from Star Racing. He has the best pro stock bike team out there. And he has a new Pro Stock Bike Challenge going on. We also have Derek, <laughs> let me say this correctly, Cesare. Derek Cesare calling in to talk about his racing career and his 10 Wallies. Wow. He's going to be part of the Star Racing Pro Stock Bike Challenge. How exciting. Hey, Bob, what do you got tonight? Well, you know, with all the other racing starting, Irwindale is starting their season. Now, the drag racing has started already. We've been racing since the beginning of the year on the drag strip, but the oval track opens up on September 15th with a day, or excuse me, February 15th. February 15th, I got my months mixed up here. You know, anyway, February 15th with Day of Destruction. It's going to be an all-afternoon demolition derby of sorts with skid plate racing. Pole. Wow. They're going to do pole racing. Now, I've never seen anyone do a race of pole, but, you know, we're going to find out. <laughs> now, now, what you're watching right now is Paul Williams Specialties working on Diana Mike's Project 406 10-second race motor. Now, Scott's got the motor in the car, but we're going to show you a step-by-step -step on how he built it. Paul Williams can build a great, dependable motor for you, too. Visit his site at www.pwspecialties.com or call him at 661 864 1632. You know, Bob, we're showing you the bear block. We're going to take you from this bear block all the way to watching the car go down the track. Ooh. You're going to see the whole deal step by step, and uh, we're going to fill you in bit by bit as the as the <laughs> month goes on. <laughs> All right, and special thanks to Comp Cam Shafts, the Comp Cam Sportsman Roller Lifters. Finally, a reasonably priced, high quality roller lift. And thanks to Hamburger Oil Pans for a great oil pan with built-in windage trays, the trap door for oil control, and SCE gaskets. We also installed a set of Race Tech pistons in the motor. Great, high-quality pistons for you. Looking good. Can't wait to see that car going down the track. Yep. Okay, now you know this from last year. We entered the March meet. Did you? Mm. Online at thefoat.com. Buy your racer entry and I'll see you bang that thing. Hammer that mm. thing. <laughs> He's got to get those cam bearings in. Look at the freeze plugs are in. He, uh, he actually, uh, you know, I'll tell you all about all about it later. All right. Buy your racer entry. Also, your crew passes. You can get it all at thefoat.com, F-O-A-T.com. Of course, you can also buy your spectator tickets, too. Um, you
you can click on the photo.com straight from our website. It's right up in the right-hand corner if you're watching on the main page. Come to the March Meet at Bakersfield. Cheer us on. Check out the great stuff at the Curry Rear Ends and Aeromotive Fuel Systems booth. Lucky's going to be there. Dynamite, are you going to put an appearance at that? Oh, honey, I'll be racing. You know that new motor that they were just talking about? That's Ooh. going in my car. I'll be taking it down the track. And, you know, I just want to say special thanks to Hamburger for painting their oil pans to match my car. Oh, nicely yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of that reddish color, you can pick up free Speed Scene Live stickers if you stop by the Curry Aeromotive Fuel Systems booth. Now, coming up on Speed Scene Live TV this month, it's jam-packed because we're just getting started for 2015. Bridget Davis, NMCA racer, is going to be talking about racing. Hey, Dale Creasy is going to be talking about his career. And Donnie and Dar will be live in the studio doing a March Meet warm-up show for Good Vibrations Motorsports. Wow! Well, you know what, Dynamite, why don't you bring Dar onto the show and let's get this puppy rolling. Absolutely. We want to welcome Dar Hawthorne to Speed Scene Live. Dar, long time no see. Oh, I'm usually in here when you guys are out uh, playing or racing across the country. And, yeah, and well, uh, yes. Donnie and I have to come in here and cover for you. You do. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's somebody got to work while we're out playing, so we appreciate you and Donnie doing it for us. Yeah, we sure have a good time. And uh, it brings on, a, I think it brings a, a you know little different audience that wants to know what's going on in the Nitro and particular particularly in nostalgia racing. Well, and, you know, uh, we have a we have a lot of fun doing it. Well, you know, uh, you're always in touch with all kinds of racing, but there's a big race this weekend. Yes. And I know you've got a great guest to talk about it. Why don't you introduce him and we'll bring him on? Well, he's the uh, president of the International Hot Rod Association, Scott Gardner. Scott, are you there? Hi guys. Yeah, hi uh, guys. How are you? Good. Really great. How are you doing, Scott? Doing great out here in the frozen tundra of Ohio. Oh. Can't wait to get out west. Oh, I know. Man, if I was you, I would have already been in Tucson. Yeah, don't you have to do some setup there? I mean, come on. <laughs> I know it. I should be out there already. I mean, He's it got is people cold for that. and snowy here. We can't wait to get out there. Our advanced crews are, of course, already at the track uh, working hard, and uh, I'll be there in the next day or so. Yeah, so they don't I, I can't excited. believe... I can't believe you didn't make an excuse to come out for that football game that was in Phoenix this past weekend. <laughs> that was pretty spectacular. We, I enjoyed it from my uh, warm living room. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to be coming out, and uh, it'll be a great weekend. You know, they don't have to shovel snow sh sunshine there. Yeah. They don't have to. S a okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Scott, this weekend at Tucson is your opening race for the year, and I know you guys got to really be excited about that. It is. It's a good vibration, Southwestern Nationals, kicking it off a month earlier than we did last year. So uh, it's an early start for our season. We wanted to get a jump on things, get the you know get the blood flowing. We've got a great lineup of nitro cars and, and uh, all kinds of professional categories, and we're excited. We love going out there. Great crowds, great people, great sponsors. Just a great way to start our season off. Well, Scott, um, I, I've got a count now of I think twelve cars that I got from uh, uh, from Mike and uh, Jason Rupert, Mark Sanders, Mike McIntyre, Roger Garton, Tim Boychuk, Chris Crable, Will Martin in his brand new car that he'll be debuting, um, Bob Godfrey, Dennis Swearingen, and Mike Halstead. Ooh. That's a pretty doggone yeah, yeah. good group of people. <clears throat> yeah. It is. That's a solid list there. I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite. I'll tell you what, uh, you know, I know the, the guys that run with us a lot, uh, Mark Sanders in the, in the Mr. Explosive car, and, of course, world champion Jason Rupert, uh, Matt and Mike McIntyre. I mean, I know how those guys run, but, you know, some of these other guys, I'm very much aware of them, and, and uh, I know that they could, they step up and run really good at any given time. So this is going to be... This is going to be a shootout. I can't wait. Uh, nope. I'm excited. It's been a many months without drag racing, so <laughs> it, it's going to be cool to be back at it. Now, besides the uh, Nitro Funny Car, you've got uh, Mountain Motor Pro Stock, Nitro Harley, and uh, and then the Sifka cars are coming in, too, from Good Vibrations. Absolutely. So we've got a great lineup. Uh, you know, Pro Stock this year, uh, now that uh, PDRA is not running any Mountain Motor stuff with with in their categories, we picked up some more cars, so we have a solid field of 10 or 11 cars entered for the event out there. Uh, Sifka cars, I haven't got to see them before, so it'll be great to see them. And the Nitro Harleys, I mean, those guys are crazy wherever we go. So <laughs> it's going to be an outstanding show. I mean, you can't beat it for the value. It's, it's, it's the best in the world. And you've also got Jets. Oh yeah, you can't you can't forget the Jets. We've got the the lovely girls of Larson Motorsports in with their Jet Dragsters, and they're doing a lot of PR work for us out there already. 
and they've got a great display, great setup, a fan fest area, and of course we're bringing in the the, the big jet fire truck this year, and Ooh. that thing's going to haul on down there at about 200 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, so it, nice. it, it's going to be great. You, you got know, my attention. You yeah. know, I love those Mountain Motor Pro stocks because they got the bigger cubic inch, and they're they're really exciting to watch. But who doesn't love the Nitro Harleys, man? I mean, you look at that and you just go. This is unbelievable. But they do it. They go down the track. It's insane. It's so much fun to watch. Well, and we have a great group of guys that run in that category. In, in last year, you know, I, it was my first year on the tour and seeing these guys uh, up close and personal and, and, and how passionate they are about what they do and how fast they run and they're consistently running well. And that's one thing we didn't see for a number of years with the Top Fuel Harleys. There was a lot of inconsistency. It's just the opposite with this group. They pretty much go down the track every time, and when the wheel's up in the air all the way down the quarter mile, you know you've got it going, and, and that's what you see a lot with that category. Wow. Well, Scott, you also had a, a big announcement this week with Aeromotive coming in and uh, and and uh, supporting or presenting the the funny car class, but also helping their sportsman class. Absolutely, uh, you know, Vic and Steve over at Aeromotive, uh, great people to work with. We're so excited to be able to announce that that they are uh, it's the Ems Oil Funny Car Series presented by Aeromotive and and a new sportsman racer. I shouldn't say sportsman; it's for pros and sportsman racers. A bonus program uh, to a champion in each class at each Nitro Jam National event. So uh, they stepped up big time. We're excited to have them on board. Uh, of course, they're gonna. Steve's gonna be running his pro mod with us at various events this year as well. So it's great to have them, and uh, it just kind of shows you where IHRA is going. Uh, we're moving very strongly into the future with a lot of great partners, and uh, we couldn't ask for better people than the folks at Aeromotive. We've got, we've got some great video here, and I love to see the racing at nighttime. It makes it that much more exciting, you know, to see the flames come out and the smoke and everything. For some reason, the nighttime racing looks so cool. And, and that's what uh, we, we really capitalize with the Nitro Jam National events. Most all of our Nitro Jam events finish up, and also they have nighttime qualifying, and we finish our finals at night. Uh, so you get, you know, you get that, see that Nitro, you see those flames, and, and, and it just makes for such a great show, a great appearance. And now we've added this whole starting line uh, setup that we're doing a, a starting line show this year with laser lights and music. Wow. A lot of new components with the fireworks and the drag racing, something that hasn't been done with drag racing that we're stepping out and uh, starting up this year. Now, Scott, I got a question. I'm on the FOAT.com, and they're asking me questions. They want to know, apparently the IHRA is growing. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of buzz, a lot going on with your organization. This race is a great example of that. They want to know what's next for the IHRA. Well, there's so many things, it's hard to say what exactly is next. But uh, what we want to do is continue to uh, move in throughout the, the North America, both in the Canada and the United States, with more venues, more national events, and continue to build our sportsman racing as we go throughout the country. So it's really, uh, you know, it's a multifaceted program. I can't point to just to one thing because there's so many important aspects to what we have. Our live TV coverage of our national events, our live TV coverage of our Pro-Am events, our Summit Super Series, all those types of things are so very important. The foundation of IHRA, the sportsman racing, very important to us. The marketing partners and sponsors, our fans, everybody. So we look out a lot of different directions at one time. Hey, Scott, um, what's happening on San Antonio? Any word yet? Well, you know, we continue to work on San Antonio. Uh, our parent company, which is IRG Sports and Entertainment, are in negotiations to buy the facility. I don't yeah. think that's a, a, a secret of any type. Uh, a lot of paperwork, a lot of people, a lot of people involved in that transaction. We hope to have that secured here in the next few weeks and be able to go back to San Antonio this fall with a Nitro Jam event. In the interim, we postponed. Uh, the, the, the event that was going to be in San Antonio in March, and we're going to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to State Capitol Raceway. I'm excited to go there. A lot of the racers are really excited to go there, and I know the fans will come out in droves at that facility. So it's onward and upward, and we might just have one more national event than we planned this year. He's got one on a on a personal level. What's it like to not be responsible uh, for Cordova Raceway and uh, <laughs> kind of step away from it into a management position? Well, you know, it's still near and dear to my heart. I talked to the folks uh, and the folks that run the racetrack there at Cordova, Bobby Joe 
and her team uh, worked for my wife and myself for a number of years. So it, it, it's you know it's my family still there operating, not blood family, but family as in race family that we've been together for a number of years. And it's a little different when you're not at the helm of that, but I do talk to them quite often and help them out and exchange ideas back and forth. But I feel like I left it in really good hands. I'm still involved in the production of the World Series of Drag Racing, still hiring the cars in. We'll still be at that event, as Jason Rittenberry, our CEO, will be. And, and uh, you know, we're looking out for everybody and everything and don't want uh, that facility to miss a beat as we move on up with the IHRA. Well, one last question I got for you. Is, this, uh, is the show still going to be on uh, TV, on MAV-TV? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, we have our own production company, IHRA Productions taking over the process this year we believe we'll step up the, the performance of the video and the actual tv show clay milliken will still be the host but we're great uh, it's great to have him on board again for 2015 we'll be on mav tv as well as these events will be live on uh, ihra.com throughout the year all the national events will be live right on there so you can go and watch from the tundra of the north, if that's where you're from, <laughs> and watch watch the great, exciting racing from Tucson, Arizona, this weekend as it as it unfolds live. But uh, the TV show definitely an important part of our process of building for the future. And, and Mav has just announced many more uh, opportunities to be out in various uh, affiliates throughout the country. So they'll be in more households in 2015, and we're on board with them and strong and, and happy for it. Good. Well, thanks a lot for calling in. Really appreciate your time, and I will see you on Thursday. Yeah, it's awesome. I appreciate you being there. I appreciate the listeners and the viewers that are that are uh, online, and uh, it's going to be a great year. Uh, thank you for supporting IHRA Dry Racing, the Good Vibration Southwestern Nationals. Onward and upward, everybody have a good one, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, take care. Let's Bye-bye. take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, it's time to shift gears and go pro stock bike racing uh, with uh, Derek Cesare and George Bryce from Star Racing. Stay tuned. This is Dell Worsham, and you're watching Speed Scene Live. At Aeromotive, we believe that performance means reliability, longevity, and durability. Being the best is no secret. By utilizing aerospace processes, procedures, technology, in-house engineering, true applications knowledge, and three generations of track experience, it's easy to see why we're the best. We take great pride in the fact that everything we sell, we design and make in the USA. See our entire line of fuel pumps and related products by logging on to aeromotiveinc.com. Aeromotive. We know it. We race it. We live it. This is Crazy Connie, and when I'm not doing wheelies, I'm watching Speed Scene Live. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, MH Tires, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheFault.com. Oh, yeah, and it's another Tuesday night. You're live with Diana Mike. Hey, that green line's gone. I'm glad to see <laughs> yeah. that. I didn't want one going across my nose. No. <laughs> but I want to welcome everybody back to Speed Scene Live. Oh, no, We've so. got Scott Lucky Hudson here to my left. We've got... <laughs> We got a bunch of people. Uh, we've got we're Bob. We've got oh, Dar. We've got Bruce. We've got everybody in house. We've got a full crew, and we've got a great night for you. <laughs> Let's bring up Derek Cesare. Derek, welcome to Speed Scene Live. Hey guys, thanks a lot. Hey, welcome uh, to the show. You know, uh, Derek. A lot of people may not ho- know who you are, but you are one of the most accomplished motorcycle riders. Uh, that's racing, that's drag racing in the country right now. Uh, well, I bet you the girl that hands out the wallies knows who he <laughs> is, since he has like ten, right? <laughs> well, well, that's correct, yeah. Derek, tell us a little bit about some of your accomplishments on the bike. Well, I actually started uh, in 2001 in the Summit Racing Series, and um, since then, yes, I've had actually nine national dragster wallies, which wow. I'm very proud of congratulations and my 10th yeah my 10th one was just this past year uh, i got my gold lolly for 
winning the race of champions at the bracket finals, which is uh, obviously probably my favorite so far. But, um, you know, I, I want some more. Yeah. <laughs> so you've only been racing like, like wow. 13, 14 years, and you've already got 10 Wallies? Yes, I, I've, I've actually been racing. <laughs> I am so jealous. For, <laughs> well, I started, I started uh, 27 years ago, but never, you know, we just went down. My brother Jeff and I would go down and just, you know, like everybody else, how, let's see how fast our bikes can go. Mm-hmm. So it only and took then, you 27 years to become an overnight success. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> but, um. Maybe I'll stick with that. I just started in 2001. There you <laughs> yeah, go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you <laughs> go. Okay, okay. You were just practicing you went until uh, then. You went pro in 2001. Yeah, yeah, but 2001, we decided, um, you know, to run our points at our local track, Echo Dragway, and a great group, group of guys. And, you know, I, I just, I was blessed with this accomplishment. And, you know, I have, between my brother, our our machinist crew chief Tom, brother Ed, helps us out all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, accomplished racers in their own right. I just, I sit back, I listen, and you know they just tell me what to do. And uh, along with uh, our sponsor Brad from the RPM shop, I mean we really we got this thing where I mean it's a two bike team, and it just works. Um, I'm just blessed to have all these accomplishments. My brother's, you know, he's right there too. I just. Um, you know, I'm just luckier. I don't know, you know, I maybe better. I don't know, but I think it's luckier. Well, you know, uh, a lot of what probably is a secret to your success is a certain amount of natural talent. And when I was reading about George Bryce's uh, challenge, one of the things they're looking for are riders that have that natural talent. Right. You know, a guy that can get on a bike and he's comfortable. And, he, and you know what? I think... Uh, we're going to have George talk to us in just a couple of minutes and tell us more about it, but I think that natural talent that you obviously possess is probably going to help you and give you a leg up on this challenge. Yeah, I. it's funny because the bike I actually have is George built this bike in 1989. Oh, wow. The first wow. bike I have, yeah. Well, what kind and of bike really is it? It's a Kawasaki. Uh, it's a Cosmin chassis, Gucci 1, what they called it back then. Mm-hmm. Um that George bought, uh, actually Gucci. built for a customer of his, Gucci, Gucci, and Gucci. I bought it in 2006, and it's just, I put my old engine set up from a bike that we, you know, custom made to this Pro Molly chassis car tire pro stock bike, which is obviously lighter and better, and uh, it's just, I only, I, well, I say, I only run 840s, but it's not a pro stock speed, but it's still it's fast. Just, it's still it, fast. Yeah, 840 in the quarter. I mean, you're, you're flying. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's a 118.60 foot, it, it, and it'll just, it's consistent, and, you know, it shows. I mean, it shows this bike is just, you know, I love it. Hmm. Now, when I saw this George Bryce challenge come on Facebook, I looked at my fiance. I said, well, I have to do this. I mean, hmm. I was... I'm too big to be a horse jockey, but <laughs> I'm perfect for a motorcycle. But but so, too small to be a football player. Yeah. Right? Yes, I am. I am. I'm vertically challenged, perfectly for a motorcycle. <laughs> and and uh, you mentioned him before, but who's the sponsor that helps you out? Uh, Brad Nash, great guy. He is from the RPM shop in Delmont, New Jersey, and he does he does car and bike building tuning. Yeah, machine work. He'll do it all. Um, actually, if I could plug his phone number. Yeah, please. One eight five six seven eight five nine one five seven. Again, anybody in the area? He's in New Jersey. He does. You know, he'll do anything for you. He's he's on Facebook. Just look up the RPM shop. Uh, really, really great people. He my my engine's a nineteen seventy six Kawasaki. He has. Kawasaki engines as far as you can see so um, he's got the good the right wood. stuff yeah and and if I need something he's there for me and it, it's just I can't I can't thank him enough every time I get well, to uh, praise him so well Derek yes, let's I, bring on George Bryce and let's find out a little bit more about this pro stock bike challenge Diana George are you there can you hear us Yep, I'm here. All I'm right, ready. welcome to Speed Scene Live. You, you've you been listening to Derek, and, you know, he's excited to go for the challenge. Tell us all about this challenge. Good. First, I'd like to say hi to Derek and Lucky and the rest of you guys. Thank you very much for having me on. 
Um, Our pleasure, George. Thank you. The, hey, George. Our contest is called the Star Racing Challenge, and it's a, our company's been in business for 35 years, and mm. we sell pro stock motorcycles is basically what we do. We, we have a lot of facets to our company, but um, after we've been racing for so many years and running um, IDBA, NHRA, AMRA, uh, AHDRA, all the different motorcycle drag racing organizations through the years, Pro Star, uh, Drag Bike, um, we decided that after having so many successful seasons and, and um, the other part that sort of caused all this to come true was um, I've been helping Frank Hawley at Frank Hawley's Drag Racing School for 21 years and um, we've had in, in my pro stock motorcycle class, we've had about 900 students come through there, and wow. uh, most, a lot of them have been champions. A lot of them have won a lot of NHRA races and races all over the world. We've been very fortunate to build bikes for people that won European championships and Japanese championships, Australian championships, and of course the NHRA and all the different categories in America. So we're very blessed and very thankful. So just one day working with uh, Rolf Schnur who is our business development, new business development manager at Star Racing, he said, you know what we need to do is we need to come up with a way to advertise this uh, ability that we have here at Star Racing. And he said, we need to do like the golf uh, show, had, the golf channel had the big break, has, still has the big break. And um, we said, we need to do a drag racing motorcycle version of that. So we came up with an idea to have 30 people uh, sign up and um, what we'll do is we'll get we'll have have the 30 break it up into 10, 10 people into three groups, and out of the 10 people in each group, we will have two finalists that so will end up being six finalists, and the six finalists will compete against each other to find the winner and the champion of our challenge. And that particular person that wins will be Andre Andre Sampe's teammate at the Atlanta NHRA Nationals on. Uh, Star Racing Pro Stock wow. motorcycle. Man, wow. what a what an opportunity. opportunity! And you know, I was talking to a rider one time, George, and he was saying, you know, George Bryce, he's been doing this for so long. He sells horsepower, he sells the bike, but really, what he sells is he sells knowledge because you you actually groom these people. You teach them how to stage the bike, how to ride the bike, what to do with the bike. You you pass everything on to all the new riders and they become a better rider by being around you. I hope that works that way. We've had, um, you know, we have like a revolving door in drivers over, and uh, riders at Star Racing it seems, but um, a, a friend of mine told me last night, he said it's just like going up to the hamburger stand and you pull up to the to the uh, order um, counter there in your car and you say, um, tell them what you want and then they tell you to pull forward and pay for it and then you pull forward to the next window and you race and <laughs> win and then you move on to other other well, teams and other classes, you know. Well, you know, we've got uh, uh, Derek Cesare, and he's kind of the double double of the drive through yeah. riders. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, he's he's got the talent, he's got the ability, he's got ten wallies on his own. Just imagine what a rider like Derek could do under your tutelage. Is that a word, Diana? Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something Just like imagine that. take. Your brain, George, and and put it inside a Derek and his natural ability, and, and he'll be tootling around the track. This guy, this <laughs> guy could go all it. over. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, Derek is a very accomplished racer. He all through the years, um, he's been he keeps me up to speed. I see all of his accomplishments along the way. He sends uh, nice race reports every now and then with mm. stuff, and we've been able to keep up with him because we were very fortunate. To, to uh, have him into, like he explained, the motorcycle we built for um, William Hunter back in the day, and John Myers won the race. I guess what what year was it, Derek? Did he won that race? That was 1990. He, he won the the drag bike finals. I think it was in 1990 yep. with uh, John Myers, the late great John Myers, was driving the motorcycle, and uh, he won the race, and and then William Hunter took it home and. I think he mostly polished it from then on <laughs> after it won yeah. the only the first wow. race it was ever delivered to. But anyway, Derek's very lucky to have that that nice machine now, and, and he has complimented it very well. Um, the guy like Derek and, and girls that have the ability and the experience that want a dream, a thrill of a lifetime, this is a perfect chance for them. Just like why Derek, he called right away and signed up. He was one of the very first ten to sign up because he knew this was the right thing for him. 
Now, and, uh, uh, George, we're showing a blooper reel right now of some <laughs> some of your students that maybe weren't quite as talented as Derek. The ones that are just starting out. They're kind of holding on for well, their life. Yeah, you yeah. know, these these are probably mm-hmm. all good riders, but you know, when you sure, get sure. the kind of horsepower that you can get out of star racing, mm-hmm. that's got to be a little intimidating. Well, wh- one thing that's for sure about that famous blooper reel that's been passed around on on uh, YouTube. It, Thank goodness we don't have any names on there. Oh, and, oh, um, I tell people at the school now, we were just had a class two weeks ago, and the guys would mess up, or, and they'd say, is this going to make the blooper reel? I said, no, we don't do blooper reels. Oh, I nice. said, that's really, really old stuff. Don't worry about that. And I said, I said, what happens at the school stays at the school. And then, of course, here comes Facebook. Yeah. Now everything's on Facebook. <laughs> oh, George. Well, you know, you, you always wonder, how the heck do they hold on to so much horsepower? And you can see right yeah, here from this tough. blooper reel that it, it's tough to it, hold on. There's no seat belts. <laughs> it is so funny. Um, the, the three-time champion, Angel, was there helping at the last school. It was the first one she had been to in eight years, and she was so excited. And when um, it was really a great treat to have her there to help out. But I was going to say, she is... Um, is a judge in the challenge with us, with me, uh-huh. and uh, and Rolf, who is our uh, marketing expert. Um, and and what we're going to do is we're going to judge you on um, on your ability on the motorcycle. We're going to judge you on camera presence, interview, um, uh, how you handle um, you know the camera, and how you handle uh, talking to people. And it's got, it's got a. a a That's real vast array of, like Angel says, what it really takes to be a pro stock motorcycle right. racer, not just what happens on the racetrack, but that right. is well, the largest camera, part of it. The camera, sure. deal, the camera deal is an important part yeah. nowadays. It makes or breaks your yeah. sponsor. Now, yeah. I don't know how you're going to pay to go pro stock motorcycle racing, but if you could do well on a camera and you can represent a company well, that's one of the biggest parts because if you don't, if you're the best rider in the world, and you have the fastest motorcycle in the world, but you don't have any money to go race. I'm sorry, right. it just doesn't work. And and you so can't you can't package. you can't freeze up on the camera. You have to be able to talk. You have to be able to look into the camera. You have to be able to remember all your sponsors. You need to remember to thank them, and you need to be able to say it gracefully as well. And you don't need and you got to make do it in a way that it's not like totally boring yeah. to the viewer because they get so tired of it. You remember um, Ricky Bobby on? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I loved his first interview he ever did. That was one of my favorites. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, it's it's you know it's it's infectious. If the if the drivers are excited, I mean, I like to see those race car drivers that they get out of their race car, they jump up, and they're like so excited. You can just feel the enthusiasm. It's infectious. Well, who are some of the drivers that you've helped along the way? Well, the the late, great John Myers, um, Jim Bernard won a bunch of races for us, and then we had uh, Chip Ellis and uh, Chris Rebus, and then Michael Ray, Chaz Kennedy, uh, Scotty Polachak, John Hall, Matt Smith, uh, Angie Smith, um, Peggy Llewellyn, and, of course, my favorite today is uh, Angel uh, Sampe Trego. She's um, uh, married to a a supporting husband and they have a beautiful child uh, Ava Jane now she's four and um, I'm telling you everybody that knew and heard of her before she became a mother she was a um, pretty ruthless competitor and now she's even better because she wants to be the great provider and she wants to prove to a little girl that you can be anything you want to be if you work hard and try hard don't mess with a mom they'll, yeah. tell, you, they'll tear you apart <laughs> yeah. hey um, I want to tell you something really important too that Derek will be interested in about um, about our stories and challenges, everybody's going to really make out on the deal. All 30 people. Uh, I think there's 22 or 23 already signed up. We have room for, I think, seven more. Uh, deadline's closing in fast. And um, it, it does have a cost to it because we're renting a racetrack for three weeks. Um, we, we, we're going to have to make 160 runs on our on our trainer motorcycles. Wow. Uh, we also have a NHRA Pro Stock Suzuki that makes 350 horsepower that we're going to use uh, to weed out the, the the wannabes to the champions. And uh, is there it's going a, to be a very exciting class? deal? But but there's a lot of prizes, a lot of a, a, the, a wealth of information. You get to spend time with uh, Angel and myself. We're the, the ten people in the group. We're going, we're going to have a uh, a dinner together the first night. Then we're going to have question and answer sessions, and then of course there'll be a lot of one on one coaching with the two of us in between uh, your runs. So we're going to make sure that the person that doesn't win is going to feel like that they got their money's worth. They got 
their time was well spent, and Angel put it in really great words. She said that it needs to be bucket list quality. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Derek, how did you hear about the uh, Star Racing <clears throat> Challenge? I actually saw it on George's Facebook, uh, <laughs> speaking of Facebook. Um, about the, literally the second day he had it posted. Um, and real quick, I want to... I want to also say that, with you know, add what George said. He his school. I always wanted to attend, uh, and I never, you know, I had my child and the family thing, and you know, I'm at I'm older now, where it's I can do all this, and I always wanted to attend a school for years, and when I saw this challenge, it's it's a no-brainer. You're getting not only his school, the schooling, uh, and all this, all the all the other things that are coming on with it with Angel one-on-one -on -one with you with george helping it's it's really if you want to ride a pro stock bike or even just learn about it uh, i told george the other day we talked a little bit and i said hardest things for me is going to be my face is going to be killing me from smiling so <laughs> now you now know, uh, because it's really but honestly no brainer um i think i was probably it might have taken me four or five days just because I'm thinking, well, oh, do I do it? Do I not do it? And everybody's looking at me like, uh, you're kidding, right? Get mm. get your money to him, and let's get this going. So, mm. uh, yeah, it was probably the second day I saw it, and a week later I was signed up, and, and I've been I've been pushing it ever since. I mean, now, this is, George, this is awesome. how can people sign up? How how can people listening get one of those the few remaining spots? You can go on, um, on Facebook for sure. We have a, a Star Racing Challenge page. Um, and also the Star Racing page, and then, of course, our website is starracing.com. And I always tell people that if you want to get in touch with me, email me. I'm george at starracing.com. And I've been George at Star Racing for 35 years, and when Al Gore invented the Internet, I just put ah. .com on the end. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Derek, George, I want to thank both of you guys for calling in. This sounds really great. And, you know, Derek... Do us a favor. After the whole challenge is over, when you win, I mean, if you win, <laughs> call, call us back. Let us know. Even if you don't win, let us know what happened. Tell us about the experience. And uh, don't Absolutely. make us wait just to watch you on TV at the the, the, uh, the ESPN final, yeah. uh, representing Star <laughs> Racing, okay? Yeah. It's a, it's a deal. Okay. I will tell you. And, George, Thanks thank you so much for calling in. Uh, as always, you're an asset to the world of drag racing, and we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Man, that's exactly what I feel about you guys. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day. Thanks All so right. much, George. We'll talk to you Bye. later. You know what? Uh, we've got a commercial break coming up in a little <laughs> bit, but before we do... You know what? I think yeah. we should go over to the Irwindale track, find out what's happening, Bob, with Irwindale, and uh, let's get into that now. All right. With us tonight is Doug Stokes, the expert PR man from Irwindale Event Center, which houses both the drag strip, the circle track, and also the third thing is LA Racing School. Doug, how are you doing? Hey, great, Bob. Thank you for putting us on. This is a. I know this is a busy week. Uh, looking into the Winter Nationals for you guys and stuff. But, you know, we're getting ready to rumble, too. And, and of course, we've been rumbling all uh, all year long, except for Christmas, New Year's, and Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. with you and, and everybody on the drag strip every Thursday night. Uh, you know, it's, it's really a, a lot of fun there. Uh, we've got a, a terrific schedule for, for the oval track uh, coming up. Uh, we're going to – everybody loves those, uh, those nights when we have the uh, – smash them up derbies and the trailer races <laughs> and uh, skid plates and uh, this year uh, we've uh, expanded that uh, uh, that little inventory and we're going to have six races we're going to start believe it or not on a sunday afternoon on february 15th uh it'll be the day after uh, valentine's you can uh, great place to bring your valentine for on a sunday and uh, watch some real fun with trailer races and demolition derbies and all. By the way, we got to get you guys into one of those skid plate races. They're yeah. really fun. We we can have a speed scene live skid plate challenge. I have one, yeah. by the way. You do. You oh, have your own skid plate? No, I have my own, own race car. Oh, oh wow! A, uh, a uh, VW uh, they're, GTX. They're, there you go. They've 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 just uh, you know I mean uh, thirty or thirty five of them out there on the track, all trying to go the same direction <laughs> at the same time as. Uh, 
it's quite a show, and uh, everybody everybody loves it. The kids love it, uh, and then we start right up right again on March 28th with uh, our April 4th rather opening night with uh, NASCAR, and go right all the way through to uh, uh, to our October 17th. Uh, we've got a and N race. Just announced today that it's a TV race mm. uh, on April 11th, K N uh, uh, Pro Series West. So all kinds of stuff going on. It's actually uh, off the record, uh, and uh, we don't have the dates yet, but there's even a couple of concerts that are scheduled. Really? Kind of fun, and everybody knows where the place is and how to park and all that. But we need to get uh, uh, you guys out uh, for a, uh, a little round robin soon out there on the, either the drag strip or the, the skid plate course. Well, I, you know, the drag strip's a natural, and we've all been there, and I'm, I'm there with you on Thursdays. But, you know, on the Oval... In skid plates <laughs> with big speed scene live stickers. You know, Let's do it. We'll yeah. let Lucky do that. You know, that's all that turn and left, turn and left, turn and left. I'm used to going straight. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like going down the return road a, a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can figure that out. Well, we could do the figure eight. This way, we're turning right in. The thing anyway. is, when you're doing this, you don't wave to the crowd. On, on the comeback. Uh, you know. now, now, uh, concentrate on what you're doing. Now, Doug, I got to tell you, a few years back, I actually took the school yep. at oh, Irwindale, mm-hmm. and oh. I, I I went around in a circle, and man, that's a fast circle, because as yep. soon as you come out of the corner, boom, next corner's right there. And it's, I, uh, it's really something. I know uh, Bob can tell you, because yep. uh, we were there uh, in November. Uh, we uh, saw the first ever sub 14 second yeah. lap that's a full half mile track wow. and, yeah. and, uh, yeah. uh, it was a stunning mm-hmm. effect it was so stunning that our our uh, timing and scoring uh, department uh, <laughs> our machine decided that it, it wasn't even going to tell us what the time was because it, it, it went below 14 seconds which was as low as we ever thought they'd go <laughs> and these were sp- uh, winged sprint cars that were just uh, astonishing but, you know, even if it's just a mini stock on the third mile, everybody is, just like at the drag strip, they're getting the absolute most out of each car, no matter what it is, if it's pure stock or if it's, you know, uh, uh, you know, right up to the, to the gunnels with the nitrous and everything else. Uh, the, the whole idea on both tracks is, is getting extracting the, the maximum performance. Now, Doug, that's uh, what's so fun to see. We got to tell you, you guys always do a great job. But I, I I'm a little partial to the announcer at the drag strip. He's just uh, so the guy, I'll smooth tell you what, and, did, and, and <laughs> Bob. The other night we had some folks, uh, and I'll, I'll tell some tales on you. We had some mm-hmm. folks there from Channel Five, and they're doing a, a story about drag racing that'll be on this week. And uh, they, uh, I, they asked me if I'd uh, go on camera with them, and I said no. I have someone who's much better and who is really understands what's going on. And uh, that was Mr. Beck, and, and he did a terrific uh, uh, bunch of stuff for us with, with uh, Cher Calvin from Channel 5. And, uh, you know, just uh, explains it. Uh, then they came in and showed him calling uh, a couple of uh, runs, and uh, you'll see it. It's, it's really uh, uh, very special. This guy knows every detail about every car and makes every run i don't care if it's a you know a stalker or the most hotted up car on the uh, in the place he knows about it he knows the person who's driving it and he makes it an exciting run Thanks, uh, it, it's it's an honor to uh, really to have a, a a, a real tower announcer like like he is. Hey Doug, this is Dar Hawthorne. Uh, hey Dar. I, I didn't know that. Uh, I I, I kind of want to bust uh, Bob on this, but he <laughs> makes a lot of it up. Yeah. Oh, I know he does. Yeah. yeah. I've seen him. He looks away, <laughs> and he'll he'll talk about the car, you know, and it'll be a different color. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just busted. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, no, it's. I, I listen. I've learned more about uh, the years of Mustangs, and what kind of tail lights. Uh, uh, the you know Nova's had uh, on a certain year <laughs> that I, I could ever read in a book. Well, it, you know, it, thanks. It's pretty remarkable. You got to come out on a Thursday night. It's only ten bucks for you get five hours of, of listening to Bob Beck for ten bucks. <laughs> you, How can you go wrong? You know, what, uh, Doug, I got to ask you because there's been some rumors <laughs> that maybe you guys are going to have some uh, more Saturday night events in the oh, yeah. coming months. We, we've got a couple on on the burner. I can't. Uh, I can't give you exact dates now, but they're 
Uh, they're coming, and, and they're, they're fun, too. And also there's six summit races on Sundays. Uh, the real serious uh, guys get together, uh, you know, and, and really run, guys and, and young women, yeah. get together for points. And uh, that's real fun to watch. Much more, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's like going to a, a regular pro race. They're very, very uh, professional about how they, how they run the cars, and, and it's always fun. And then, of course, the juniors are out. Last week we had uh, a couple of juniors uh, uh, with uh, some fairly famous uh, yeah, couple, fathers and yeah. grandfathers out uh, a couple of guys you may watching know. them. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Hite, Del Worsham, wow, John the big Forrest, guys. three world I champions. Did, I got a call yeah. from the snack bar. I said, John Force just bought some cookies. Aww. I said, okay, yeah. that's good. Now, Bob, that that must have yeah. been John Force's grandkids, because I know yeah, his it daughter's... It's, it's Robert Height's daughter uh, was doing the driving, I think her first time in the car, and Del Worsham was actually acting like the crew chief. Oh, how cute. Yeah. So it, it was kind of neat. And Del had gotten a haircut and wasn't wearing his hat. We didn't recognize him at first. Yeah. <laughs> but they were getting ready. And John was out there babysitting. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was out yeah. there babysitting for his young grandson. Yes. Wow. They're, wow. They're, uh, they're pretty remarkable. These kids, and you look at them when they're sitting in the cars and look in their eyes, and they've got that 100-yard stare. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, they're uh, they're dead, dead nuts serious about what they're doing. All right, if someone wants to see what our schedule is for the the Oval, where would they go, Doug? You go, uh, or, or, excuse me, www.irwindaleeventcenter.com. Okay. Five E's in there, irwindaleeventcenter.com. And we've got a, once you get there, you'll have fun. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a full array of uh, circle track events for the year. Again, we start with the Day of Destruction. Yeah, Valentine's weekend. I mean, guys, bring the wife out or girlfriend, or if you're brave, bring both. But hey. come on out on February 15th for the Day of Destruction. And, and March 14th, by the way, is an open practice. And we'll open the grandstands for that. And people can come out. And they, there's no charge to Free. park, no charge to watch. But uh, 11 to 4, uh, there'll be uh, a lot of stock cars out there, you know, getting ready to, to run. So. Uh, that might be a fun thing to come out. You no, know, uh, the, guys, there's only one thing wrong with doing a phoner for you guys. What's that? I can't go buy circus liquor <laughs> on the way home. Oh, that's so <laughs> Yeah, funny. right down the street, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my T-shirt's wearing out. I, Uh-oh. i, I got to get a new... Bob, pick one up for me, would you? Yeah, not a problem. Well, you'll have to come in studio <laughs> sometime, Doug, and I love hang it out down with there. us. Uh, you, guys are, you guys are the best, and, and I, really, I really appreciate the time tonight. All right, so Thursday night under the lights at Irwindale Drag Strip, starting the 15th on the Oval with Day of Destruction. And, guys, you don't have to be a spectator. 20 bucks, you can run your car at Irwindale. You got it. Doug, thanks for calling. Hey, thank you very much. Be talking to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. All right, Bye-bye. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to talk to Steve from SHRA Radio. We're going to find out what's going on with his part of the country, SHRA Radio, and more. Stay tuned to Speed Scene Live. For over half a century, Curry rear end components have been twisting out the torque and taking the punishment. And the new Curry lineup is stronger than ever. Some of the world's most capable, hardest working vehicles depend on Curry gears, which is why you can too. Street cars, hot rods and resto rods, drag cars, rock crawling four wheel drive vehicles, whatever you're piloting, Curry expertise and rock solid design means the parts will do their job so you can do yours. Check out Curry's custom rear ends, featuring a full line of upgrades, components and installations options. The Curry Crate Rear Ends lineup offers ultra-strong construction on third members and carrier assemblies. And other underside parts, like correct link steering systems, keep your four-wheeler pointed where you want it. Add in a wide variety of solid, purpose-built suspension and brake components, and you've got one tough, ready-to-go machine. Grab a hold of a Curry Rear End. Talk to the experts at 714-367-2679 or view the complete line online at curryenterprises.com.
everyone in the armed forces that has served to defend our great country and our freedom. All of us here in the United States of America would like to offer our sincere appreciation for all that you do and all that you've done. To every family that has made a sacrifice for us, we thank you. M&H Tires, makers of racing tires that give you the best bite for the buck. You've paid a lot for that horsepower. Make sure you use it all. M&H Tires has the best compounds available for maximum traction. Go to mandhtires.com. That's m-a-n-d-h-tires.com. Buy direct and save at the website and mention the speed scene for a 5% discount. That's right, mnhtires.com. Call them at 661-324-4773. M&H Tires has tech guys ready to answer your questions or to recommend the best tire for you. Slicks or DOT, M&H Tires has it all. M&H were the first to create racing tires for muscle cars and also the first to create racing tires for sport compact cars. Legendary M&H Tires. Shop online. Mention the speed scene and save 5%. Get the best racing tires, great personal service, and save 5%. Go to mandhtires.com or call them at 661-324-4773. mnhtires.com. Hi, this is Joel Gruzin, and when I am not busy working on all of these items from the House of Mouse, what do I do? I watch Speed Scene, and you'd better do that too. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m &H Tires, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheFoat.com. All right, welcome back to Speed Scene Live. I'm Hot Rod Bob Beck, and along with us, as always, is Dynamite. Welcome. And Scott Lucky Hudson. Man, it's great to be here, Bob. And with us tonight also is Dar Hawthorne. <laughs> oh, we woke him up. I'm sorry. He, he was napping you know, at his age. And, and as always, on the board, making sure we all keep clear and in focus, it's Bruce Barker. Reporting for duty, and, Captain And Bruce's Beck. camera looks the best. I it, know, it, you'll amazing. notice when it goes to him. Look at that. Oh, that is perfect weird. Perfect skin tone, perfect flesh. And it's yeah. the cheapest piece you know, of junk. Looks Things nothing like that him. make you go, hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is weird. I, how come I'm on a $30 <laughs> camera and The it looks rest like of that. us are all opalescent or orange or blue. Yeah. Ooh, opalescent. I it like your vocabulary. Oh, look at those parts. Yes, mm. this, these are the parts mm. that go into Diana Mites motor, the rods, the Nothing crank. Nothing but the best. And this is inside of Paul Williams Specialties. You can check him out at pwspecialties.com. Well, you know what? Let's let the video speak for itself, and we'll find out a little bit more about this engine build. All right, right now what we're going to do is kind of set up some of the main caps. We're going to check some clearances, make sure everything is just perfect. Uh, everything's already been done, but the thing about precision machining is you want complete redundancy. You want to make sure that you double check, triple check, and you want to make sure that everything is perfect. So what Paul Williams is doing is even though he's already gone through everything, he's going to go through one more time and just sort of set it up, check it out, make sure it's right. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now with the motor. Well, right now I'm just checking our main bearing clearance, making sure that that everything's where it should be. Our housing tolerances are correct, our shaft size is correct, and we've picked the right bearing for that combination, but just to make sure, we're gonna physically measure the inside of the housing bore of the bearing, and then we're also gonna measure the crankshaft and see what our clearance actually is. Perfect, sounds good. What I'm doing now is I'm miking the crankshaft size. I'm going to take a reading and see where I'm at. So we're at 2648 uh, and about one tenth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zero my I'm going to zero my gauge here at our shaft size. Okay. 
so that that size is your zero and then anything yes. above it will tell you it, how much the clearance. Anything different is going to be my clearance. Okay. Okay. That's right on zero. The, my gauges I use for doing my machine work were even ten thousandths. It's a little more accurate. But this will get me a, a measurement, tell me where I'm at. So, so this thing's telling me I got four thousandths clearance on the mains. Um, four thousandths is good, right? Four thousandths is good. We're, 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 it's a little on the big side, but for a race motor, it's good. Especially something that you're turning 8,000 RPM. Well, you, you know what, Diana might We're going to yeah. give you updates every week. We're going to show this thing come from block to running motor. But we're getting to the end of the show, so let's bring up Steve from SHRA Radio before we run out of show. Steve, welcome to Speed Scene Live. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. It's a privilege and an honor to be on. I was listening to your commercials, your show. Uh, we love the sponsors, Curry Enterprise and M&H Tires, Air Motor. What a group you gathered there. Yep. Great sponsors. Thank you. Well, we appreciate uh, it. We appreciate it. And, you know, you guys do a great job with your show. I, I listen all the time on the radio. But you got a big event coming up this weekend, huh? Yeah, our first annual race at uh, Orlando Speed World, we call it, uh, sponsored by RJS Safety Equipment, RJS Southern High Rod Nationals, Southern, Southern Thunder One. Ooh, we got nice. uh, Pro Mods running quarter mile. Wow, that's really? great. You don't often get a chance to see Pro Mods going all out. No, not especially in the south. The eighth mile is a big thing down here. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're breaking the mold. We're going a uh, quarter mile racing with Pro Mods. So you see some 250, 240 mile an hour speed. Wow. See some uh, real fast cars out of Pro Mods, door slammers. You know, I'm a big fan of that Outlaw 632 class because, you know, these guys have giant motors. They're making a ton of power. And those guys can be kind of uh, fun to watch. Yeah, homegrown stuff, too. A lot of these guys work on their own stuff. It's a uh, uh, pure nitrous class, no turbos, no blowers. These guys are going 430s with 632s and 3,000-pound cars. Great. Wow, man. Uh, get yeah. out of the way. <laughs> now, Steve, where can people go to get more information about the race? Is there a website Our, they can visit? Yes, yeah, so you can go to raceorlandoraceosw.com. Or you can go to shraonline.com. Uh, information for the race is there on both websites. And that's where people can pick up a link to your radio sh show, too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. They can come listen to our radio show, hear about what's happening on Speed Scene Line right after our radio show, and maybe get lucky and get lucky on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you guys actually go on just a little bit before we do, so people can check out your show, and when you're done, come over and watch us, and you can make a whole night out of it. That's it. Get the popcorn, get the beer, and have some fun. Now, nice. you got this you're... race this weekend, so does that mean next weekend you're going to have all kinds of content on your show about the race, who won, what happened? Uh, we'll have the racers on, the winners on, the, the hard luck guys on, uh, the owners of the track, the owners of the teams, the sponsors. Wow. We'll do recaps. We'll talk about uh, how close some of the runs were. It's a lot of fun. They're my favorite shows is the recaps. I had recaps once. I love, I love it, yeah. Well, Steve, I wish we had more time to talk to you. You know, like I told you when we spoke on the phone, this is our first show back. We're just jam-packed, but I'm glad we got a chance to get the word out because this weekend is the Southern Thunder One race. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, you got drag radials, you got index racing, you got Outlaw 632, you got Pro Mods. Man, you got it all going on. Yeah, some for everything. And I, I do appreciate these guys getting me on. It's a, like I said, it's a privilege and an honor to be on your show. I love your show. I listen to it every every chance I get to listen to it. I love the tech shows you do, uh, the segment about building the motor and stuff. I love all that stuff. You, you guys do a great job. Well, great. Why I wish you a lot of luck. Why don't you mention that website one more time? RaceOSW.com or www.shraonline.com. Thanks, great. Steve. We'll talk to you later. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Thank All you. Right. Well, we're out of show. It's the top of the hour. 
Dar, you're going to be out at Tucson at SIR Raceway. Yeah, got a press conference at Pomona tomorrow morning and then uh, head out on uh, Thursday morning at uh, oh, dark 30 and mm-hmm. head for nice. Tucson. Right, right. And this is the, uh, the Good I- Vibrations. Good Vibrations Southwest Nationals wow. at Southwestern International mm-hmm. Raceway in Tucson. And nice. Bob, where are you going to be at? Well, I'm going to be Thursday at Irwindale as usual for Thursday Night Thunder uh-huh. and then Pomona for the Winter Nationals. I'll and, be in the AAA booth. Yeah, and Lucky, how about you? I'll be there, too. I'll be uh, carrying a camera for Speed Scene Live. Uh Who will be accompanying you? Well, actually, uh, I'll be accompanying the boss. Uh, uh, Tuner to the stars, Mr. Donnie Donnie. Couch. I will be be his assistant and gopher. Are you going to be his girl Friday? I don't <laughs> like the term hey, girl with, Friday. With that. Uh, you don't I, want to cross I'm not real it. fond of the term pit bitch either. So. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> however, that, that was next on my list. <laughs> uh, however, if the term fits, you know, what can I say? <laughs> no hot pants and high heels for no, you. <laughs> no, But I'll be out there. NHRA Winter Nationals this weekend at the Pomona Fairplex. If you're not in Tucson, you got to be in Pomona. Pomona. If you're not in Tucson or Pomona, well, head on out to Orlando. And <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you can't be heck? anywhere, well, you'll be with Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be chasing lug nuts on a completely screwed up. Well, it's another story for another uh, time. It's another car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another car. Uh, no. Man. Okay. I tell you what, I'm tired of paying for subpar work. That's another story, too. Hey, okay. uh, great to see you guys tonight for the first show of 2015. Yeah. Great to be Thank seen. You, Bruce. All right, and uh, we will do this again next week right here. Of course, the encore presentation of tonight's show comes up next. Thanks so much for joining us here at Speed Scene Live. Speed Scene Live TV, the number one online motorsports TV show. Brought to you by Curry Racing Rear Ends, m h Tires, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheBoat.com.